birds at airports are normally cause for concern, but not these cute chicks. They're part of the cast of critters at Bush Intercontinental that help fuel one of the busiest animal transport centers in the world. Thousands of horses, including the famed Cavalia seeds, hit the aviation trail out of Bush every year. It is for destination on every continent. Hello, sweetie. Personal pets like Lucky make up a large number of animals transported through the airport. Lucky is being sent to Dubai to join her owner, Nandini, who's moving there for a new job. It's, it's really hard to get your animal from one end of the world to the other. But the good thing was I started really early, about two months in advance. And I've been calling Tom ever since and asking him lots of questions about how to ship animals worldwide. And luckily we were in time, and so everything's worked out. Tom is Thomas Schuler, the man who owns and operates Animal Port Houston at Bush Intercontinental Airport. The facility handles two to four hundred dogs and cats a week and gets hundreds of inquiries each day from people searching for help transporting their pets. The, the uh, primary thing that we're doing here is making sure that the trip from origin to destination is uneventful that there are no disruptions, that the paperwork is correct, that the diet is correct, that the animal has as few stresses and strains on them as possible. Animal Transport Houston is bonded by U.S. Customs and a designated fish and wildlife port. Tom also operates the airport livestock pens owned by the state of Texas. Bye, Ollie. Bye, Ollie. And speaking of Ollie, a double yellowhead macaw, shipping exotic animals is also part of the process. Lions. Yes. Tigers. Yes. Bears. Two. What kind of bears? Uh, these are big brown bears. Okay. Horses. Horses, yes. Elephants. Yes. <laughs> George Bush Intercontinental Airport handles more than 347,000 metric tons of air cargo each year. And now you know, some of it's actually breathing. Reporting for Houston Airports Today, I'm Faith Jenkins.